it is possible to exceed 100% volumetric efficiency of some engines by the use of superchargers of the proper type. It is possible to exceed 100% volumetric efficiency of some engines by the use of superchargers of the proper type. So which of the following statements regarding volumetric efficiency is true? It is possible to exceed 100% volumetric efficiency of some engines by the use of superchargers of the proper type. It is possible to exceed 100% volumetric efficiency of some engines by the use of superchargers of the proper type. Number 13. A transient increase in engine power. A transient increase in engine power. A transient increase in engine power. So bootstrapping of a turbocharged engine is indicated by a transient increase in engine power. Bootstrapping of a turbine engine is indicated by a transient increase in engine power. Let's start from the beginning. Number 13, number 13, a transient increase in engine power, a transient increase in engine power, a transient increase in engine power. So bootstrapping of a turbocharged engine is indicated by a transient increase in engine power, a transient increase in engine power. Number 14, improper adjustment of carburetor heat valve control linkage improper adjustment of carburetor <laughs> i'm spitting everywhere <sighs> number 14 improper adjustment of carburetor heat valve control linkage improper adjustment of carburetor heat valve control linkage so which of the following would be a factor in the failure of an engine to develop full power takeoff and that would be improper adjustment of carburetor heat valve control linkage. Improper adjustment of carburetor heat valve control linkage. Number 15. All the exhaust gases are directed through the turbine. All the exhaust gases are directed through the turbine. So of the turbocharger waste gate, is completely if the turbocharger wastegate is completely closed all the exhaust gases are directed through the turbine if the turbocharger wastegate is completely closed all the exhaust gases are directed through the turbine number 16 30 inches of mercury 30 inches of mercury so boost manifold pressure is generally considered to be any manifold pressure above 30 inches of mercury. 30 inches of mercury. Number 17, limits the maximum manifold pressure that can be produced by the turbocharger at full throttle. Limits the maximum manifold pressure that can be produced by the turbocharger at full throttle. So what is the purpose of the density controller in a turbocharger system? limits the maximum manifold pressure that can be produced by the turbocharger at full throttle limits the maximum manifold pressure that can be produced by the turbocharger at full throttle number 18 controls the rate at which the turbocharger discharge pressure will increase controls the rate at which the turbocharger discharge pressure will increase so what is the purpose of the rate of change a controller in a turbocharger system? What is the proposed rate of change controller in a turbocharger si system? What is the purpose of the rate of change controller in a turbocharger system? And that would be the controller's rate of change which the turbocharger discharge pressure will increase controls the rate of ch which the control fuck me i can't read i can't fucking talk can't fucking fuck number 18 
controls the rate at which the turbocharger discharge pressure will increase. Controls the rate at which the turbocharger discharge pressure will increase. What is the purpose of the rate of change controller in a turbocharger system. It controls the rate at which the turbocharger discharge pressure will increase. What is the purpose of the rate of change controller in a turbocharger system? It controls the rate at which the turbocharger discharge pressure will increase. Number 19, waste gate. Waste gate. So what directly regulates the speed of the turbocharger? It is waste gate. Waste gate directly regulates the turbocharger. Waste gate. Number 20. Compresses air to maintain manifold pressure constant from sea level to the critical altitude of the engine. Compresses air to maintain manifold pressure constant from sea level to the critical altitude of the engine. So what is the purpose of the turbocharger system for a small reciprocating aircraft engine? It compresses air to maintain manifold pressure constant from sea level to the critical altitude of the engine. Number 20, number 21. One, four, and five. One, four, and five. So what are the three basic regulating components of a seed level boosted turbocharger system? And that's the exhaust bypass system, which is one. The density controller, which is four. And five is the differential pressure controller. Exhaust bypass assembly, the density controller, and the differential pressure controller. One, four, and five. Number 22, reduces bootstrapping during part throttle operation. Reduces bootstrapping during part throttle operation. So the differential pressure controller in a turbocharger system reduces bootstrapping during part throttle operation. Reduces bootstrapping during part throttle operation. Differential pressure controller in a turbocharger system reduces bootstrapping during part throttle operation. Guys, take a quick quiz and I'll see you soon.